Welcome to A New You with myself, Dr. Kristen Watkins, where you're going to learn, laugh, and fall in love with becoming a new you. My goal with this podcast is to help you look great and feel great by bringing you simple, tangible techniques, world-class advice from experts, and proof from real-life patients. Enjoy the pursuit of a new you. Good morning, everyone. It's Dr. Kristen Watkins with the New Aesthetics and Optimal Wellness. Thank you so much for joining me today on my podcast, Beach Body Ready. So I want to show you where we are today. We are on location, and I'm going to share with you at the end why we're here. But it's very fitting for Beach Body Ready. We are at 531 Grand, which is the building that we are located in at our city market location. So this is the rooftop. And as you can see, lovely Kansas City in the background. And you all know, Kansas City girl. So today, as we talk about Beach Body Ready, we're going to talk about two things. We're going to talk about wellness and we're going to talk about aesthetics. And so what does that mean? So it's really important that we understand that Beach Body Ready doesn't just happen in the two months before, it happens all year round. And then obviously we can focus those couple months before summer happens, but we really need to be doing things all the time that get us ready. And as we age, that gets more and more difficult. And if I knew when I started anew when I was 30, what that really meant, um, I would really be thanking myself at 30 and pushing myself further to do things quicker. Because now at 42, I definitely realize what that means and what my patients and what my mom and other people have always told me about how we lose things as we age, right? We're putting on more and more weight each decade. And that's because of sugar, standard American diet, inflammation, not getting our body in motion, the stress that we have 24, seven, 365. And I definitely know about that. As you all know, running a company in with three small children at home and then sleep, right? So what are we not good at in America? Those four things. So physical activity, stress management, sleep, and proper nutrition. So those are some things we're going to talk about today with my first guest. And then my second guest, we're going to talk about ways that you can enhance what you're doing at home with your wellness regimen, where you can come in and get services that are non-invasive. And some of them, most of them have little downtime, right? That's the whole point of doing non-invasive things versus plastic surgery, because you can have little downtime and you can get some amazing results. There is really nothing in the practice that we offer that I have not personally tried. There is one right now, which is the uh, peel that we're going to talk about later. And that's just because it's brand new. So join me as I bring on my guests as we talk about Beach Body Ready and stay tuned at the end to find out, of course, why we're on location here. So today I'm here with a very special guest, Jeanette Pranger, CEO and founder of Echo Select. Jeanette, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you do here in Kansas City? Well, I founded an IT professional services company here in 1995. We're across the United States and Canada, and I'm so thrilled to be with you here today to talk a little bit about balancing our professional work and personal lives. Awesome. So today we're talking about a few things. We're talking about beach body ready, but there's two sides of beach body ready. So as everyone knows, I do aesthetics and wellness and don't mind the background noise. We are here on location at 531 Grand, so just bear with us. Um, so there's two sides, wellness. So on the inside, we have to get beach body ready. And for me, that means year round, okay? But then what do we do to also prepare going into the summer? Because we all have that little bit of something going on where we come out of winter. So how do we prepare for that? So today, Jeanette's going to talk with me a little bit about the inside and the wellness part of what we do, because every decade we put on a little bit more weight, things happen Mm -hmm. with sugar and the standard American diet. And then of course, last year with the pandemic. Mm -hmm. So as long as I've known you, you have been a fitness instructor here in Kansas City. So why don't you tell me about some of the things that you do to get beach body ready all year round? Well, you know, you hit the nose on the head in regards to the pandemic. So on top of coming out of winter sluggishness, this last year we've come out of being in lockdown Mm -hmm. and not doing the things we would typically do as far as activity in the wintertime, getting out and being active and so forth. This year, I was very mindful of the fact that I was a little more sluggish. So in addition to the things that you do in your office, I also really took a look at my diet. Now, 
I have heard that out of this pandemic, you're either going to be an amazing cook or some other wonderful <laughs> habit or an alcoholic. Yep. We yep. have tended yep. to use red wine and its, <laughs> um, and its antioxidants uh, properties, mm-hmm. probably a little bit uh, out of balance with where we should uh-huh. be. So I took two weeks and actually was very mindful of cutting down my carbohydrates. Now, listen, I said cutting down, not cutting out. Correct. I believe in balance. Unless you have food allergies, we have a reason for a balanced diet and with everything else, right? It's all in moderation. Yep. I have quit drinking for several weeks just to make sure I get my body back into an anti-inflammation state. Mm-hmm. And then I started doing a little bit more weightlifting. I'm in my sixth decade of life. And so running and, and some of those, oh, you're so way. sweet. Some of those more high energy, high intensity exercises I used to do when yep. I was younger and which you can do is a little harder on my body. So I have to take a look and I'm aware of those things that are good for my body versus those things that really stress my body and may not be as good for me because my flexibility isn't what it used to be. Of course. And so, you know, we were talking a little bit about earlier about how certain activities for us as we age might not be as good for our body, right? With gravity and other things. Can you speak to that for just a moment about how you've made some changes? Sure. You know, for years I did high impact type of aerobics um, back in the day of Jane Fonda and the leg warmers. And that was great. And I ran. But as you get older, gravity does pull everything down. And so I'm very mindful of the things that I do. I've been teaching spin for almost 15 years now, and I do really like cycling. It's a great way to get a good sweat with low impact. Swimming is another option, weightlifting. And I've really become a fan of yoga and believe it or not, stretching. I am shocked at how uh, my flexibility has decreased over the years. I know. We forget about stretching and how important it is. And, you know, there's a lot of mindfulness practices that only focus on stretching and breath. And I think the reason that they work so well, even if that's your main form of physical activity, is because if you hold those poses for a long time, you're also strengthening your core when you do those things. You can strengthen and lengthen those muscles. And so we forget about those types of activities. So people that have pain or other things can definitely do modifications. Um, And speak a little bit about some of the things that you do for nutrition, how do you try to balance that life? I really believe in whole foods. Now we are in the Midwest, which is very bountiful in being able to get fresh fruits and vegetables in the summertime. Unfortunately, in the wintertime, it's more root vegetables. Um, But I happen to be a big fan of things that some people may or may not like broccoli, spinach, kale, tomatoes. I make a lot of soups in the wintertime. And in the summertime, I love smoothies. So, you know, years of doing salads at lunch and dinner, you kind of like Uh make it tired of it. Uh (laughs) I do try to, I do try to sneak in those good veggies, spinach and kale, especially almost melt into like spaghetti sauce or sneaking them into a Mexican casserole or whatever. But that I really am very mindful of always trying to have good, high, lean quality proteins. Mm-hmm. Even canned tuna is a good option. Absolutely. And, high and omegas as well. Yes, exactly. So it doesn't have to be expensive. Um, looking for fruits and vegetables that are in season and then being a little bit creative. And the pandemic has actually made me go Google a lot of uh-huh. things that I used to not do because I just didn't have the time. Right. And it's amazing the number of great diet and nutritional ideas you can get, by the way, as well as free stretching and yoga type of classes. And now, you know, especially because of COVID, I try to find the positive in everything, right? I'm like the eternal optimist. Some of the great things that have come from that are the ability to get everything also delivered to your house. So when, especially for us in the Midwest, where some things are not as available, it's becoming more available and you can also get them now delivered, whether that be organic or fresh in boxes, if you can't get it that time of year and also apps, right? Apps for cooking, apps for monitoring things. And my patients know that I'm not big on counting calories And restricting unless you have food sensitivities like I do. But even though I avoid certain grains, I am not carb-free by any stretch of the imagination. We need those carbohydrates. Our body's built for them. We need them to make hormones as women especially so we can keep our muscle tone and keep those things going on. 
So I really try to look at the positive of what we can get. And I also tell my patients, like you were talking about, it doesn't have to be expensive, right? I tell my patients to go to Aldi's, to go to Costco, to go to those type of places. You don't have to go to Whole Foods to get these type of foods. It's great if you can, right? But that's for, it's Whole Foods is not really on a budget. So right. go to the other places if you can. What are some of the uh, self-care things that you do? Because you know how important self-care is for you. And you know, I preach it in my practice because that is a huge part of Beach Body Ready, right? Because stress and cortisol bring weight to the abdomen in particular. And when we have that stress going on, especially coming out of a pandemic and what I've called hibernation, right? It's kind of what we did was hibernates as bears. How do we come back from that? And what are the things that you're doing to help with lowering that stress, which also helps keep the weight down? Well, I'm a very goal-oriented person in business and in my personal life. I really um, try to set out goals for myself. So when I am starting to feel stressed, I will put a goal out there that includes a reward for myself. That's great. And that might mean a long weekend with my husband or my girlfriends. Mm -hmm. It might mean um, an indulgence in something that I would normally not do, like a little shopping. But depending on your time, your budget, your personal life, setting apart some time in which you feel rejuvenated. Absolutely. So whether it's for exercise or cooking or just being able to sit down with your children and read and be in the moment, that may be what you need. I personally am not a very good gardener, but I do get a <laughs> lot of satisfaction in going out early in the morning and pulling weeds. Yep. And that sounds really no, Simple. it's meditation for me. And maybe that's what it is, mm-hmm. but it's a luxury to have a little bit of that time instead of getting up, getting on my PC, you know, sending out emails, boom, 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 hit the ground running. So, so depending on your schedule, what is it that you need to do to shake it up right. a little bit and feel like you have that downtime? Yep. And by the way, I do believe vacations are really important. Whether it's talk about yeah, that. Yeah. Whether it's a week or two or just an extra day where you can decompress and get rid of the chaos. We, we, we have so much coming at us. We're bombarded. Seven. Yeah, we're bombarded with technology. Yep. You have your, you know, most people have multiple devices. You have your phone. There's constant We have three beeps. here right, right yeah. around us. And the beeps and the alerts and all those other things. So I think taking a break, there is nothing wrong with that. As long as you are available in case of an emergency. Right. And, you know, sometimes actually for me, taking that break is the most important thing. And even five minutes a day, you know, that's what I, that's what I preach. You can do mindfulness five minutes a day. So as you mentioned weeds, it's funny that you mentioned that because that's one of my things that I like to do. Nobody seems to bother me when I'm out pulling weeds. They don't want any, my children don't want any part of what I'm doing at that time. And the other thing is just in the mornings, maybe watering your flowers, you know, in the summer, just taking that 10 minutes to yourself. And so those of us that have a very busy mind, two of us are right here, right? (laughs) CEOs, um, very busy mind. We need to look inward. And that's what mindfulness means. It means getting rid of that outside chaos and taking some quiet time. And that could be journaling. It could be the new adult coloring. It could be walking outside. It could be enjoying your cup of coffee out on your porch. You know, those things where you get some quiet time and some inner reflection. So the four pillars of functional medicine are to reduce stress or manage your stress, get proper sleep, get proper nutrition, and get physical activity or body in motion. So really, those four principles also have to do with cortisol and maintaining the body, right? We're just a bunch of cells. That's all we are. We overthink it. And if we feed them properly and we move the body and get lymphatic drainage going and we monitor stress and sleep with self-care, we can really maintain that healthy body all year round, right? So I know you mentioned a few things that you like to do before summer, maybe with some extra weight lifting. Is there any little tidbits other than that that you want to share with um, our guests that you like to do just to incorporate anything additional? Well, the first thing that is a huge motivator is putting on a swimsuit that is not flattering. (laughs) It's a huge motivator. Put on a swimsuit Uh where you know you're not going to look great. great. You put it on and you say, okay, what do I need to work on? Uh As we get older, and to your point, you especially women, you have a little bit of maybe a belly bulge. Yep. I like to do things that will kind of flatten my stomach. So core workouts, and those are very inexpensive. You you don't even have to do a playlist nope. or anything. You can lay a towel down. Yep, it, it's cheap. You don't need any exercise, and then it's very easy to Google. 
wet foods help to get rid of belly bulge mm-hmm. because most of them are fruits and vegetables and just kind of having your own ability to cleanse your body and in a week or two it sounds like a long time but it goes by really quickly and the absolutely. results are worth it absolutely and you can notice that weight come down pretty quickly because if you're in an inflammatory state and you can reduce that inflammation you do lose fluid first so a lot of times we lose that weight quickly it's not a bad thing people say oh that's just water weight but we need to get that water weight off first as well because that's a sign of inflammation so it's a good thing to lose that and then to eat properly while you're doing it right you mentioned good fats and proteins and carbs otherwise we're just losing that muscle and as we know right over the age of 25 we start to lose collagen so at a very young age we start to lose collagen I'm now 42 I won't give your age unless you want to but (laughs) you don't look anywhere near your age hopefully I don't look too close to mine and so you know as we age things happen to the body right And we want to make sure that we're reducing that. And aging is such a big part of what we are. And unfortunately, that happens with this standard American diet, being more sedentary, working from home now, right? There's a lot of things that are setting us up for that. So we just want to give you some of those tools, those small things that you can bring into your life that you don't have to make this revolutionary change all of a sudden. You can just bring them in slowly. I think that's how this is achieved. You know, I didn't just because I teach wellness and you do too with fitness, doesn't mean I have all the answers, right? Doesn't mean I'm perfect all the time. Let's let's not pretend because I sit by, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I sit behind the desk and coach my patients doesn't mean that. But what we do do is it's a journey, right? And so we're always on that journey and we always need to be mindful of what we're doing and what we're putting inside of our bodies because that is reflected on the outside and as we age our skin, right? We lose those hormones, we lose estrogen and progesterone and testosterone and it starts to, starts to show. So we need to ramp it up a little bit. And I'm definitely starting to realize that people after the age of 40, we start to get that loose skin. We were talking about that earlier, right? And I'll talk a little bit later about some procedures that we offer for that, but we also have to do it from the inside out. Yes. I do have a great free tip. Okay. Let's hear it. Water. Amen, 64 sister. ounces, 64 ounces, right? Yep. Um, drink water. It's great for hydrating. It's great for flushing out those toxins. Another free bit. So between eating healthy and making sure you find things that are budget friendly right. for or, and work with your situation, water, exercising, and core work, no, no equipment needed. There's a lot of things you can do for yourself Absolutely. that doesn't cost anything. Yep. And even simple things like a multivitamin, vitamin D, right? Those things Mm -hmm. make a big difference with our muscles. Vitamin D is so important for brain, heart, bone, and we just don't realize those things. Also mood, right? We're coming out of that um, gray time. And here in Kansas City, you can see we're still in this (laughs) rainy gray time. We actually are getting a spring this year for the first time in a long time, but it's rainy. Um, So adding those things into your life as well as water. It's such a good point because we need to detox. And the best way to detox other than exercise or getting in an infrared sauna is water right? That's how we flush our liver and our kidneys. So there are a lot of things that we can do every day that make a huge impact in our health. Well, I just want to thank you for joining me today, Jeanette. Uh, You bring such a wealth of information about this topic. So I'm very honored to have you join me today. And a lot of people in Kansas City will be very excited to see you on this podcast. Is there anything else that you'd like to leave our guests with today? Kristen, you know, we've talked about this a lot. Everything is about balance and trying to figure out and be aware of what works best for you personally. Absolutely. So many different factors that you have to take into consideration, your time, your budget, what can you really do? But you do have control of a lot of things, what you put in your mouth, what you do with your body, and the time management to get those things done. That's right. I want to thank you so much, Kristen. You have not only been a family friend since, and gosh, I've known you since you were a little girl, but... You have really helped educate how we can get better doing things ourselves and with, you know, a little extra tweak here and there able to do and by looking at other options so that we can age gracefully, have a great quality of life and be our best. Thank you so much, Jeanette. I really am honored to have you today. So I have my second guest here with me this morning. This is Brenda Watts, and she owns Vixen Salon. She's been doing my hair for a few years, and I get a lot of questions about my hair. And this is the magical person that does it. So tell me a little bit about what you do, Brenda. Well, a lot of color, 
hair extensions is a big trend right now and a lot of keratin smoothing treatments to help with repairing frizz especially now when it's humid outside and we're all falling apart (laughs) all going fluffy and frizzy keratin treatments are amazing so thank you for being my guest today. Oh, you're I welcome. I know it's kind of um, a new thing to be on a podcast, it especially is. on video. So yeah. thank you for trusting me and being on today. So today, as you know, we're talking about beach body ready. Yes. And there's things that we need to do on the inside and you are a wellness patient as well. But we spoke with Jeanette Pranger about that. So you're with me today to talk about some of the body contouring services that we offer at a new. Why would we want to do body contouring? I think that's a good question for those that are listening because a lot of people don't know why you would do body contouring, why that would be an option, and what does it mean, right? Because we think about um, body shaping, we think about surgery, right? right? Tummy tucks and liposuction and those things that tend to be a little bit more invasive. And I have no problem with that. If that is your thing, you do you 100%. Today, we're just talking about the non-invasive things that we offer at new since I'm not a plastic surgeon, okay? So... As we age, like we were talking about, we get fluffier in certain areas. And even when we eat well, which you and I both do, and try to get body in motion and manage stress and do self-care, what about the little pockets, right, that Mm -hmm. we can't change? So as we age, we get those little pockets we can't get rid of. And, you know, a lot of people say, oh, Dr. Watkins, you don't have any of those areas. Here's the truth. Uh, We all have those little pockets, right? Everyone has that. Everyone. Mm -hmm. So the little bra fat area. Yes. The planks, right? The little love handles, the back fat fat fat. above the knee. And then of course, thighs, inner thighs and outer thighs um, underneath the booty. That's called the banana roll. And then our abs, right? So up the upper abs, the lower abs, and it's pretty hard to find a female or even a male that doesn't want a little bit of either tightening or fat reduction. Correct. So can you talk a little bit about some of the things that we've done for you? Okay. Well, for starters, um, we've done Kybella in this area, which we all know, no matter what, you seem to have those little pockets that fold over your dress or in the summertime, you keep seeing those and that diminished all the fat in the armpit area. And then another area that was bothering me, especially in the summertime was the little back Uh fat. I would be raw fat on the backside. Yeah doing hair, blowing out in the tank top during the summer, and I would see a little punch, okay. and I hated it. Mm-hmm. And I do stand in front of a mirror all day long. It's so the I hardest think. part about being a hairstylist. We have it's a lot terrible. of hairstylist patients for that reason. Yeah, we're in mirrors all day, every day, looking at ourselves, seeing every imperfection. Mm-hmm. So cool sculpting for that made a huge difference. I could probably still do one more. Mm-hmm. But I don't have that bulge over anymore. It's more of just a little punch. (laughs) Tell me about uh, lower body and things that um, we've done some things, but I know there's also some things you want to try. So let's talk about this. Oh, yes. Okay. So when we thought there was no hope for cellulite, we're going to be stuck with it forever. (laughs) There's now an injection Uh that you can get. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Good job. Yes, I remembered. So that is fabulous. I've had two treatments now. The first one, I had a 50% reduction first treatment. So that was amazing. And you just had your second treatment this week, correct? Monday. Yep. Perfect. Yep. And that is great because no one wants to see dimples in their butt. And And it gets to a point where you just can't get rid of it. And there hasn't been very many options for those of you that follow the medical spa world and uh, body contouring world. There's not been very many options out there that are actually successful. There's a lot of devices, right? But none of them that are very successful. So Quo, I'll talk a little bit about, and this month, it's a big month where we're actually talking a lot about Quo, but it's an injectable and it breaks up the fibrous bands, the part that kind of holds that part down Mm -hmm. and it breaks down those fibrous bands so that the skin can be released and you don't have that pucker or that pocket. Yeah. So a 50% reduction, she and I actually were the demo models um, when we were training on Quo last month. So for me, I saw about a 30% reduction and it's a series of three treatments. If you need three, most people will need three, Um, but maybe you won't, maybe you'll be two and done, but then we can move off label to the back of the thighs because we have cellulite. Those of us that tend to have cellulite on the derriere also tend to have it on the back of the thighs. So that's an area that we're going to move to next. Okay. What else do you want to do down there? 
Oh, definitely cool sculpting on the inner and outer thigh. Yep. One of the best treatments, and I will say that cool sculpting where it really shines is the outer thigh. It really shines there. You know, people that get those, I hate the term, but saddlebags, yeah. you either get them or you don't. Okay. They're very genetic. Um, it works amazing. It's probably my favorite area uh, for fat reduction with cool sculpting. I can't wait for that because I had kids and my thighs just went mm-hmm explosion. Yep. So hormones, right? Hormone yeah. changes. Those are the big times where we see the fat pockets. So whether that be as we're going through the pregnancy stage, post-pregnancy, right. And trying to get our hormones back to where they were before, which never really happens. Um, and then the other thing is when we start to go through perimenopause and even though I'm only 42, hormones are already starting to adjust. You know, we don't think that that really happens till 50 ish. But it really starts to happen at a younger age, around 40. We start to notice progesterone goes down and some other things. So we start to notice these little pockets. Mm -hmm. Um, Other things that you have had for neck and neck tightening, because I still consider the neck and the decollete part of the body. To me, it's both. It's face because face is from here to here. Right. But if we're talking about body, I think that also includes neck and neck as well. So do you want to talk about some of those things? Oh, absolutely. I think a lot of women pay attention to their face and they don't realize their necks are aging. And I had a very huge disconnect between my face, which has always been very oily. And then my neck was very dry and like overaged, I guess, if you will. So we started with threading. Yeah to tighten and collagen production. And I had good luck with that. Mm -hmm. Um, Then we tried Morpheus. Painful. I know. There's some pain (laughs) with Morpheus. It's it's the truth. Beauty is pain. Like you got to, all of it comes with something. So what else have we done? Oh, the plasma pen was my favorite. That was one treatment. I saw massive improvement over anything else I've tried to do, but. I do love the tightening aspect of the threads. Yep. And so here's a good uh, little tidbit, right? So a lot of times patients will come in and they're doing Botox and they'll say, oh, so I can do plasma pin instead of, right? I wish that was the case, right? If we have these lines and crow's feet that are kind of etched in because we didn't Botox them soon enough, Mm -hmm. they'll say, okay, so I can plasma pin those and get rid of them. Well, you can definitely diminish them, right? But you still have to continue with the Botox, with fillers, if that's your thing because it really is a stepwise approach. And so a lot of times patients um, want to know if we can just do one or the other. And as you mentioned on your neck, we've already done several things and we also disport her neck also. Oh, yes. um, so we disport those lines to get some tightening. So it really becomes a multifactorial approach. There's so many ways to do these procedures and that's why it's so important to come do consultations, right? And with you, I see you every month, but you're probably the only person I spend three hours with every month, right? right? Other than my family. And so we're still always doing consultations, always she's saying, what should we do next? What should we do next? And you have to really see and visualize the results from the first treatment to know what we need to do next. So I think that's really important when people call, they really want us to be able to give them that assessment over the phone. Right. And what I recommend is always come in, go to whatever medical spa or classic surgeon's office and make sure you get a thorough consultation with photos and somebody's really looking at your anatomy, your body, the way things are. We are not alike, okay? No two humans are alike, so our bodies are very different. It's hard for us to judge what you would need with seeing you with your clothes on, unless I'm talking about your neck. And the other thing is that even for ourselves, we're not the same. This side is not the same as this side. And we all know that women, things are bigger on one side than the other, right? And (laughs) everybody has one side that's kind of more saggy on the face than the other. Yep. So I'm going to ask you two questions that you don't know about. Oh, many. So. It's the new two. All right. You ready? Okay. Yes. Okay. What is the, your favorite treatment or service that you have had so far at a new? Ooh. My favorite. Hey. I know. I'm like, I like them all. I have the least favorite. <laughs> Tell me your most, most favorite. favorite. Well, I'd have to say the plasma pen because with neck being concerning issue and a long standing issue for me, like an insecurity, having that done and seeing such vast results after one treatment made me feel so much better about myself. Because no matter how tight and unwrinkly, you know, and young this looks, if this is not with the program. Yep. It's just embarrassing. And I don't want to have to wear turtlenecks. I don't want to have to wear <laughs> scarves. I don't want anyone to look at me and say, 
you know, oh, she's older because her neck. And they always say women, you can tell their age by their neck and it's their very hands. True. Very so true. if you can't tell and, you know, you have wrinkles and dryness, I don't know. It's just a. And that's one area we forget, right? We forget that to apply our face cream from here to here. Right. And I always tell people here to here in the back of your hands. Okay. I can't tell you how many women come in and they need um, BBL or IPL to get rid of the brown on their hands because yes. we forgot when we were growing up to put sunscreen there and we forgot right. to do it from here down. And so we treat a lot of necks and decolletes. I have done more neck treatments in the last year because of Zoom than the 10 years prior. Oh, okay. Of course. Because everybody's looking at this because you know we both are looking at it when we're doing our oh, podcast, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, so when they started to see this, when they were doing Zoom, because who sits there and stares in the mirror all the time, ex- unless you're right, a hairdresser. So I started doing a lot of under here, right? Yeah. The submental fat, um, the double chin, and then a lot of necks. Yes. And even down in here, because if you wear a low shirt and some of my patients have treated to here, now they're noticing the decollete as well. Right. And these little areas. Oh, right? yes. Okay. Um, so question number two. Okay. What treatment have you not had that you want to try the most? Is there a treatment I haven't had? Oh, I'm sure we can find one. Oh, gosh. That's a good question. I have one for you. Do you? I do. Go ahead. Okay. It's the new um, biostimulator peel. So it's the one that... Oh, yeah. So I just want to pour it all in a bathtub and lay down in it every month. Okay. So it is the biostimulator peel. You don't peel, but it's got 33% TCA. It's got kojic acid and it has hydrogen peroxide. So that hydrogen peroxide extra additive makes you not peel. So there's no downtime. It is a tightener. It's a tightening peel. You can actually literally see it happen on the table. Okay. So I recommend a series of four. And what we're going to do is because you were, you had the plasma pin, Mm -hmm. I like to do it in between when we are doing your plasma pin treatments, do it in between those treatments so that we're not interfering with the plasma pin and you're going to get even more enhanced results because you're going to get more tightening yeah. and we can do the whole area. And of course, while we're doing it, we're going to do the face as well, but right. How do you do something in the summer when we're in the sun? Even those of us that avoid the sun and wear sunscreen and wear hats, you can't do laser in the summertime. Right. So I really needed to bring something in that we could offer during the summertime to still help tighten and bring out collagen and help collagen grow. And that's the new biostimulator peel. So I am signing, very excited about that. Signing you Sign up for that. Up. Let's up. get some of that going. No, it's just here and no downtime and is important to me because I have to look good at work. Yep. So I can't go in very often with, you know, <laughs> weird We're not peel, skin peeling right. and different things. And, you know, it, it kind of stinks for me because there are some treatments I'd like to try, but I have to be very... Um, it's to be a week off almost. Right. Mm-hmm. And I rarely take a week off. So, yep. Some of those things are just not in the cards. All right. One other thing that I want to talk about, and a lot of people have heard about it by now, but we are on location for a reason. This is going to be where the Lotus Lounge Lux VIP event will be on June 30th from four to six. It's going to be a cocktail soiree, if you will. So dress is going to be casual cocktail. I did just pick out my dress last night at midnight. Ooh, I need to get on I that. sleep probably because of this. And so we're going to have a lot of special things. We're going to have champagne and spritzers. We're going to have past hors d'oeuvres. We're going to have Lux goodie boxes. They're going to be full of lovely goodies. Exciting. We're going to have music. And this is just for our Lux members. So if you want to become a Lux member, give us a call or go online. You can call us at 816-359-3310 or go online to www.anewaesthetics.com. If you want to be a part of of this lovely rooftop 531 grand right here in the heart of the city and river market you can see kansas city behind us you can see a little bit better right now because it's not as overcast i'm definitely a kansas city girl uh born and raised i love to do everything that supports kansas city so what better location than to see it right here over our shoulder as we have a party you know you want to come to this party i've been saying it all along but i do throw a good party and i even have this time another person like a pr person helping throw this one so it's gonna be be amazing it'll be a good one so if you want to join us call us and find out how you can be a lux member to get 10 percent off all all of your services get a free service every month and bank some money in your spa bank so it doesn't hurt so bad the bank account when you come in right find it from your husband 
Some do, right? <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Brenda, for thank coming. You. And thank you so much for always making me have lovely My locks. My pleasure. I know. I, send, I try to send a lot of people to her because she knows what she's doing. And I will tell you, extensions and hair color, it's not an easy thing to do. No, so if you need somebody, this is your gal. And I do think what we should do, and I'm going to throw you on the spot here. Oh, yes. Woo! Absolutely. I think we should do a giveaway. Okay. For the listeners. Yeah. So do you want to do a little bit of a giveaway and we'll have a drawing? Is there something that you'd like to give away to one of our lucky listeners? I always love to give away the keratin treatments because once you have one and you see how amazing your hair is, you're, you're hooked. Yep. I am hooked. Thank you. Yes. (laughs) You're welcome. What do we do it every other time or every third time? You get one about every 12 weeks. Okay. So every three months. Maintenance. Yeah. Right. And if you don't have extensions, then you're not going in there every month. Right. But it's great for me because I get my, my friend time too. So. Exactly. Well, thanks for giving that away. We'll give you all details how you can do that. Okay. So thank you again for joining the podcast today for thank Beach you. Body Ready. Remember everyone, it's about the inside and the outside and it's all about balance okay there's so many things that we can do you just have to plan which one works for you so come in for a complimentary consultation we're happy to help you either on the wellness side the aesthetic side or as i believe both thanks for joining and listening to a new you please subscribe rate and review and if you have any requests for my next episode or want to learn more visit a new aesthetics.com backslash podcast